Hey guys, welcome to my talk. Now I'm going to talk about a magical full stack framework for Django. Let's talk about some problems. If you have a requirement like content should be loaded without refreshing the web page, so mostly we use the Ajax and uh, the frameworks like React, Angular, and all, right? So uh, not having the knowledge on the React uh, and uh, uh, Angular other frameworks. Maybe you don't have time to learn front-end frameworks because your focus is on the data science and machine learning, maybe other areas. Are you struggling with learning the React and Angular? In this case, we are going to discuss about a new framework called Unicorn, which is going to support uh, Django. So this is a magical full stack framework for Django. Django is a web-based framework. Okay, we know it, uh, but the uh, on top of it, if we need uh, some front-end uh, features uh, like uh, dynamic features and all, so we can use this one. It is a magical full stack framework for the Django. So let's deep dive into that. Let's look into their official website here. Unicorn, a magical full stack framework for Django. And there are a few uh, features that I mentioned here. Add modern site functionality, skip the JavaScript build tools, no API is required. So we can install the Django by using the pip install Unicorn. And uh, there is a new concept here called components. And uh, so we have to create a component and load the Unicorn templates uh, whenever it is needed. And also there is an example here with the uh, Django Unicorn. For example, if I add some text here, hi, and uh, without refreshing the page, this text got added. And uh, let me add one more thing. Hello. Uh, clicking on add. See that so without refreshing the page, this content is getting added, right? So if I want to click this clear task, even without refreshing the page, those information got deleted, right? So that's that's something which we actually always want some dynamic page update right so the unicorn is going to help you but remember here most of the code you write in the uh, python only right so means that so you this this django unicorn will convert your uh, python code into the a dynamic uh, page content right so unicorn is also gives the other features like seo and uh, unicorn also gives other feature like uh, automatically makes ajax calls when it required it's dynamically updating the dom a lot of things will be there and uh, if you go to their documentation and uh, there is something called faq and if you click the faq and you see there is some questions comes do i need to learn new front end framework for the unicorn for unicorn you don't need to learn anything and use the django html templates it should be fine do i need to build entire api to use unicorn not required uh, django rest framework is also pretty magically on its own to support this unicorn do i need to install the graphql to use this unicorn no nope. graphql looks uh, like an awesome technology for the specific use cases but uh, most of the times we use the uh, restful apis only but yeah it's not really needed here do i need to uh, do i need to run annoying the separate node.js process to learn any tedious webpack configurations right to use the unicorn so not really uh, so uh, does this replace the v.js react.js but not uh, completed at replace answer is no so in same cases, you might need to actually to build a spa, a single page application. And uh, in, in which case, Unicorn really is not that helpful. In that case, you might have to invest the time to learn more involved front-end frameworks, uh, or read, use, v.js alongside with the Django and all, right? So there are multiple questions here. Those questions are answered very nice way. And maybe you can see some question like what is the difference between the Unicorn and lightweight lighter front-end frameworks like HTMX and Alphine.js. So these uh, HTMX, Alphine.js, great libraries to provide interactivity to your HTML. Both of these libraries are generally generalized front-end frameworks that you could use it in the server-side programming.
right so unicorns unicorn is not the same link as their uh, as either htmx or alfine.js but benefit of the unicorn is that is tightly integrated with the java so just go and uh, look at this faq you will understand uh, maybe you will have a lot of questions but these guys are already answered here so to begin with this we have to go for the installation like uh, pip install django iphone unicorn and that's something way like uh, we can use it so i will i will show you the small demo on this we'll get some idea and coming to the uh, intro introduction part uh, here there is a few points that are given right so you can see this comparison table uh, so unicorn basically uh, supports the django and the flask meld which supports the flask and there is other uh, 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 other frameworks also that we have like reactor and the sock puppet also we can use it for the django right so this is the uh, like uh, a little uh, uh, the use case uh, how to use it and everything right so django packages to integrate lightweight front end frameworks right like this django htmx and all and django components packages also available here right so moving to the next one uh, so is so there is a components how to create a component uh, let me tell you that okay just go and read this documentation it works very well uh, to create a component we have to use the uh, the component name that's where it works and there is a component keys and lot of things are there let's talk about a simple demo for this unicorn framework so already created one app here so that's there is a base app and another one is the unicorn demo this is a the main app the main app as contains this settings.py and also we have urls and everything already i added the base app and in urls i added uh, already base app and after that so i'm just going to run this project so click on this minus.py run server and in the base app there is something called template which i already created there is index.html if i go and uh, launch this so i'll get this welcome to uh, unicorn uh, so as of now i'm not installed the unicorn here uh, in this uh, particular this project i'm not incorporated so what i'm going to do right i'm going to install the unicorn first so i will go to this uh, there are steps in their documentation you see that there is a pip install django unicorn so i will go and use this one but for your information i already installed the django unicorn in my system but let me give a try again so it's saying that already satisfied okay so after that uh, once it is done there is a second step is that we need to add this django unicorn uh, to the uh, settings.py and there is something called app here so we have to add this register our app in the settings.py so control c so next moving to the uh, next one the urls also we need to add so i'm just adding the urls uh, is a like unicorn urls i'm just adding it here the path unicorn include java unicorn urls so that is a third step we have done so now next one uh, fourth step is like of uh, here load unicorn load unicorn scripts and all but before that i am going to create a component here you see here uh, create component uh, so basically like uh, uh, we are going to create a component for this uh, to load these components dynamically into the any page when you are you need it but to create a component uh, we have a command called python minus dot py start unicorn hello world but actually uh, here i am customizing it i'm using the python 3 because there is two versions in my system so that's the reason i specifically mentioned that python 3 and uh, any name we can give start unicorn this is nothing but creating the component i would say that uh, simple component i'll say simple when i go and enter you can see that obviously uh, there is a new folder will be created under that the components and templates and components there is a python file that is a simple.py and don't touch anything at this moment and you can go to the simple.html you just write the uh, simple text say that uh, simple as simple as okay now what i'm gonna do right uh, you see that there is a something some step you need to add unicorn first time when you created the component 
uh, only first time not required the multiple times go to the settings.py and there is a register app you should register this unicorn as simple as right now what i'm going to do right uh, i'll go to this so uh, uh, the url is okay and go to this um, I'll go to this index.html. I want to load that uh, script. So I'll go back to this installation steps. Uh, there is a few steps which is uh, we have to use. First, we need to load the unicorn uh, Django template. So it, just, it, it should be like first uh, template. And after that, uh, we can use the unicorn scripts and uh, CSRF token. So what I'll do right in header, uh, you, can, you, can, you can use this one into the header section. There is a uh, unicorn script and after that CSRF token is uh, required. So I'm just going to add the CSRF token. This is the first statement and uh, after that uh, which component you need to load it here. So I'll go back to the again component here. You see that uh, here the component uh, we need to add. So yeah this is the one right the unicorn and uh, so just go here you just load the the component but in our case the component name is a simple uh, you just use the simple and control s and i'll go to the demo and refresh the page so do you see anything because it's not server is not still started so i'm going to start the server and i'll go to now the page uh, refresh there is a simple game basically simple which you are not uh, okay so if you go to the simple dot html here i can say that hi hello world right so basically uh, this is i am retaining in the h simple dot html but i am loading into the index dot html something like this right without refreshing the page so maybe this is not giving so much excitement to you so i'm going to add uh, some more uh, text uh, that will give more idea about this one right so what i'm going to do right uh, i'm going to add uh, so this text so we give this hello world dot here so in this case i'm going to add one more uh, component say that uh, simple to write an issue whenever you create uh, any any component that will be added into the unicorn folder only it won't create new folder but it will add to the existing uh, components only so you can see that there is a simple to and this simple to view what i'm going to do right i'm going to add uh, this little text here the name is equal to and you can give something like hello to say that raja so i'm just giving this and there is a html file you just copy this code and go to this uh, there is simple to a dot html file just add it simple as okay now what we can do right uh, this is how it is there now if you go and refresh the page and you do you don't see that one okay because server is not started i'll get the server is uh, executing now and i'm going back to this checking this hello world but because we are not added the simple to to the index.html so what I will do right, I will add this one to this. I can add uh, multiple number of uh, n number of uh, components to the single page. I am going to add this. You can see this other just came off. I say that hey, so but dynamically this content will be added, right? Something like this. Okay, a lot of things we can do it. I will I will give you complete uh, session for this. Uh, in near future we are going to look into a lot of things i'm just giving you that idea like how to incorporate the uh, dynamic content into the Django without using any react js and all hope you like it this and uh, i will come up with the complete version of this um, so if, let me know if you are interested in the comment box thank you so much for watching it